It has been a long time since anyone has been to the moon, but there's still valuable information to get if and when someone does go back. Mark Robinson and Brett Denovay from Arizona State University and John Hopkins University, respectively, have found out that the moon has a lot of titanium deposits. By shading pictures from the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter, which pictures the moon with seven different wavelengths, one can be able to figure out exactly what kind of materials are on the lunar surface. This is possible because different materials absorb light differently. These pictures show that the moon is filled with titanium deposits, many more than previously thought. This whole project started with the Apollo 17 landing site. The Hubble telescope was used to serve the area of the Apollo 17 landing site, and there they found spots that looked like they could be titanium deposits, which samples from the landing site has proven is correct. This means that the large amounts of titanium found in samples from the Apollo 17 landing site was not really any anomaly. However, this isn't the only thing this new discovery tells us. Apparently, the moon was formed under much different circumstances than Earth, one of those differences being that it was formed in an environment with a lot less oxygen than ours. It also turns out that titanium is really good at absorbing specific elements of solar winds, including helium and hydrogen, so these huge titanium deposits could most definitely become a huge fuel source in the future. So, what does this mean? Perhaps really nothing at all, but it might easily make the moon a more attractive goal for possible future colonization in space.